Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. In an earlier film, I showed you how to create an origami gift box. In today's film, I'm going to show you how to create a star book. The star book features clarity stamps to coordinate with the decoration on the gift box. For this project you will need six sheets of paper measuring four inches by four inches, two pieces of matte board measuring two inches by two inches, a bone folder, Brilliance ink, this one is coffee bean, two sizes of ornate corner stamps, these ones are from a company called Clarity, decorative ribbon, a spray bottle of water, Bursamark ink, I'm using Perfect Pearls, the colour on this one is Perfect Copper, and a brush to apply those. I'll be using Rangers Acrylic Dabbers in Gold, and a glue stick. Taking the larger of the ornate corner stamps and the Brilliant ink, I chose this ink because the paper I'm working on is pearlescent and the Brilliant ink does dry well on that type of paper because it is a pigment ink. I'm going to ink up the stamp and then line those two corners of the stamp into the corner of the paper. I'm going to turn the paper 90 degrees re-ink the stamp and stamp here turn the paper 90 degrees Re-ink the stamp and stamp in this corner. Re-ink the stamp again. Turn the paper 90 degrees and stamp in this corner. The pattern you're left with will look like this. You want to stamp the same pattern on your remaining sheets of paper. Once your ink has dried, turn your pages over and stamp the same pattern on the back of all of your pages. At this point, you should now have six pieces of paper which have the same pattern on the front and on the back. I'm going to take this point and fold it over to here and reinforce that fold using a bone folder. I'm 
Next, using the smaller of the ornate corners, I'm going to add a design into the centre of each page. I'm going to line this area of the stamp up with that folded line. I'm using the same brilliant zinc as I used around the edges. Ink up the stamp and I'm going to line this area of the stamp up with a centre line and point that design towards there. This helps you keep the centre image truly in the middle of the page. Re-ink the stamp. Turn the paper around and still lining in that part of the stamp up as before. I'm going to stamp again. Set this page aside to dry and repeat this for your remaining pages. Once your ink is dry, you should now have six pages which look like this. Turn the paper over and on this side of the page, still using the small ornate corner, stamp but this time angle the design to point towards the centre fold. So on the inside of the fold the corners point out and on the outside of the fold the corners point in. You need to repeat this for your remaining pages. This type of fold is called a mountain fold. The arrows are pointing in towards the centre of it. I'm going to fold the paper in half and reinforce the fold using a bone folder. Open the paper up, turn it 90 degrees and fold in half again. Reinforce that fold with a bone folder. Open the paper up and you want to repeat this same folding with all of your pages. Place your paper on the table with a plain square towards you. You'll see two mountain folds here. If you press in on the sides, they will collapse into the centre. Press them down flat and press on the top of the square and reinforce this using a bone folder. You want to repeat this fold for all of your pages. This is what the finished star book will look like. I'll see you in part two for how to assemble the book and how to complete covers. If you have any questions, do leave me a comment. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.wordpress.com.